What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's birthday toy review day because it's my birthday and this is the second video. The first video you can find on the link here. So if you can, please do check that out. Now what we have today or for this video is the Nendoroid Levi. Actually, this is the third time that this was released. The first one was way back June 2014. The reissue or the second release was January of 2018 and this one was released last year, November. So it's fairly recent. But I just got earlier or yesterday, I guess it's um, today's January 9th, the day that I upload this video. So I got this January 8th. So again, this is the top front of the box side the other side and of course the back I think I also forgot the bottom part of the box but yeah so now let's open this yeah So we have the manual here, standard Nendoroid manual. There, there. Let's put this aside. Alright, so now we have the Nendoroid Levi, the default look of Nendoroid Levi. Give it a little spin there. Of course, we have the 3D maneuver gear. You have his cloak. You have a twisting uh, effect for the faceplates. You have an angry faceplate. You have another angry faceplate, but this time it's looking down. You have extra set of arms. You have an extra pair of legs. You have another leg you have a set of blades for Levi and lastly you have the stand so you have the base an extra neck peg which is standard for all Nendoroids the connector Another connector, but I think this is for when he is wearing the the cloak. Later on, we're gonna try this. And this stand, which I'm not really sure of, but again, we're gonna check the manual later and see what this is for. Alright, so now let's try to connect the 3D maneuver gear. And uh, not gonna lie to you, I actually tried this off cam because I did it on cam and I couldn't connect the 3D maneuver gear and it's embarrassing. So what I discovered is you have to remove everything first. So remove the arms, remove the head, remove the lower body, and you connect the 3D maneuver gear. So watch closely, you have to do it like this. I don't know if there's a better technique uh, than mine, but this is how I did it. So, put the peg um, diagonally first. Try to get the top part of it inside the peg hole. And then, push up. There. 
So you're gonna connect the the peg like this, and then push it up while you're going in. And that's not sexual, believe me. <laughs> All right. So now let's connect the arms back again. Oops, I think it's the other way. Yep. Let's get the gripping hands so we can put. Excuse me. So we can make Levi grab the blades. There we go. Oh, and these are movable. Uh, it has a peg. I think it's a ball peg here, but don't don't try to maneuver them too much because you might just break them. Right, let's connect the lower body and finally to make it cooler let's put on the cloak before we can reconnect the head There are too many accessories on this center. <laughs> Careful, we don't want to break anything. Although there is always a spare neck peg. But I'm not saying not to be careful. It's just that the really is. Why are you not connecting? There you go. Right, so since one hand, ah, yeah, we can. All right, sorry about that. So we can make both hands hold the blade while the cloak is on. Yes, the cloak or, or the blade is looking down, anyways, looking downwards. There you go. Where's the other blade? Tight. There you go. Okay. So like that. What's cooler is we can actually make it or connect it to the stand even when it has the 3D maneuver gear occupying the back peg slot we just need the special connector that I showed earlier this one the L connector remove this one the default one from the main uh, connector to the base and then replace it with the L shaped one now we have to connect the L-shaped one here underneath. Can you see it? And then there it is. So let's try to fix it first. So we should be going this way. There. So just one tip so you don't crack this because these can easily be cracked. If you have to maneuver the joints here, remove this first. Go here because it's near to the center of the joint and it won't easily crack the plastic. Unlike if you do it while this is connected. There. Connect it here. It's not really that tight so you can. And then connect it to the base. Like so. Okay it stand like that all right so now let's connect the effect part of the 3d maneuver gear so you can attach this even if the cloak is on 
Because the cloak is actually articulated. Or the cape, or the cloak, whatever you want to call it. See there? So you can lift this part up. And you will see that there is a square peg on this part. Which corresponds to the square peg hole. Wait, let me just focus it here. The square peg hole on the effect part. So now, we just have to connect the effects part on the 3D maneuver gear. So you can, oops, I think this is, can you twist this? Oh yeah, you can. So you can twist it around. Actually, you can remove it. Okay. Yeah, so you can connect it first, or let's try to connect it first, and then let's maneuver. There you go. So you can have it like that, as if he's twisting from that side. You can twist it to this side. So yeah. Alright, so I've removed every accessories that I've connected so far because we still have a few that we haven't tried yet and actually there's just three I think yep so it's the two or the one pair of bent knee extra legs or extra legs for the bent knee god English <laughs> And this, if I'm not mistaken, is a kicking pose. So let's try them out. First off, let's go. Let's try the bent or the extra leg with the bent knee. By the way, if you're not sure which leg goes where, there's always a letter indicator. If it's R, it's right. If it's L, it's left. But I can't read what's inside. Anyway, let's just assume. Let's assume that this is correct. There. So you can have him with the bent leg like that so if uh, if you're posing him doing or maneuvering using the 3d gear you can do so you can make him kneel or whatever kind of pose you want with this leg and finally let us try the kicking leg if I'm not mistaken but how do we do that let's see uh-huh Okay, I knew it. It's a ball peg. And with that, you can attach the kicking. Wait, let's, let's try to connect the other leg first so we can. He doesn't look silly. There you go. Let's change the face. So it's more, or the, the mood is more correct. Again, you can even have the other arm like this. silly but um, it works so yeah if you want to kick air in the face this is the leg you do it with so that's it for today's video if you guys liked it please leave a like on the video if you have any comments suggestions if you want to add anything to this video that I might have missed uh, put it on the comment section 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more contents coming from me. And as always, guys stay safe and have a good day.